So for the last example of not just 3.6, but also chapter three, which is exciting news because that means we got a test coming up. Um, here we're gonna talk about a logistic model. So you always see those uh, commercials on TV, we know logistics. Well, I doubt those people know logistic models, so it's a good thing we're gonna learn about those today. Um, your example five, we are talking about a number of snails, which is why uh, in a tide pool, after x weeks is given by this table, you have your x values, your y values. Remember, your x is your number of weeks. Your y is going to be your number of snails. So don't get these confused. Some people like to confuse which ones these are. Um, for your first item, you need to fit a logistic model to the data. So use your regression feature to find a logistic model. So we're going to go to our calculator we have these values plugged in if you feel free to pause at this moment so you can add anything you need to I'm um, gonna hit the stab button uh, I'm gonna go to the calc and I'm gonna find a logistic model which I don't remember a B C something like that a B so we're gonna calculate this and the logistic model is not a very pretty model so it's not like a mr. Klein model if you know what I'm saying <laughs> But uh, anyway, here's what your logistic model is. It gives you an A, B, and C. What the? OK, well, you have a C divided by all this fun stuff. So in English, what that model is going to look like is you're going to have a Y equals your C on top, which is a 33.65. All over, you get 1 plus 21.66 e to the negative 0.26x. Now, what we want to figure out is we want to estimate when there are 10 snails. So, 10. Is that going to go in for x or is that going to go in for y? Well, if you remember back here, x is your number of weeks, y is your number of snails. So we are going to put a 10 over for the y. So we say 10 equals 33. 0.65 all divided by 1 plus 21.66 e to the negative 0.26x and then this is over 1. This is a proportion and some of you guys have had a little difficulty solving these in 3.3 and on your quiz on 3.3 and 3.4 and 3.4 and uh, I don't know if you on 3.5 but you might have. Um, anyway what you're going to do is you're going to cross multiply and then set them equal to each other. Solve the equation. So we're going to get a 10 times 1 plus 21.66 e to the negative 0.26x equals a 33.65. And we can distribute the 10 through here if you like. You could either divide by 10. I'm going to divide by 10 on both sides because really if you divide by 10, that's only uh, <clears throat> that's only really getting rid of or, or moving your decimal. So if you're dividing by 10, that's going to make this 33.65 a 3.365. Then you have a 1 plus. This is going to be, I'm going to be tired of writing this down enough here. Equals 3.365. And then we're going to subtract 1. So minus 1. Minus 1. And you're going to get a 21.66 e to the negative 0.26x equals a 2.365. Believe it or not, I'm doing all this without a calculator. Um, then we're going to divide by 21.66. Six, six. So you're going to end up with e to the negative 0.26x equals, and I'm even going to do this part without a calculator. This is a 0 0.1099, see, 9192. Okay, I had to think about that one. Um, now, obviously, you have the base e. Now, I apologize if the bell is going to ring here in a minute. I'm working late. I'm working late. Uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to natural log both sides. Natural log. So you're going to end up with, on the left, 
you have a negative 0.26x is equal to the natural log of 0 0.1092. Boy, I hope that's right. Since it, ah, there's a bell. Divide by negative 0.26. Divide by negative 0.26. X is equal to approximately be 8.5 and are we measuring days, years, hours? We are measuring in weeks. So that should make a little bit of sense because if you look at your table, if you're eight and a half weeks and we want 10 snails, well, eight and a half, that'd be somewhere in here, which would be between seven and 11. So that seems to make sense. So I hope everybody enjoyed the Chapter 3 6 notes. Um, sorry, MG Griffin, the mathematician, could not be around to say goodbye, but I'm sure he would say enjoy your weekend or your evening or something real smart because he's just real smart. Anyway, hasta la vista. Don't know when I know. Ho ho! Finish hang hang! Word!